Make to stock, MTS, is a traditional production strategy that relies on demand forecasts to drive production schedules. In this approach, manufacturers produce goods based on anticipated demand and then stock these items in inventory until customer orders are received. The goal of MTS is to have enough product readily available in stock to meet customer demand instantly. MTS is commonly used in industries where the lead time, the time it takes to manufacture a product, is longer than the customer is willing to wait. It's also used for products with stable and predictable demand, where the risk of producing goods that won't be sold is relatively low. However, the MTS strategy comes with its own set of challenges. It requires accurate demand forecasting to avoid overproduction or stockouts. Overproduction leads to increased inventory holding costs and the risk of goods becoming obsolete before they can be sold. On the other hand, stockouts can result in lost sales and dissatisfied customers. In the context of lean manufacturing, MTS can be seen as a less preferred approach due to the potential for waste from overproduction and excess inventory. However, it can still be effective when implemented with lean principles such as continuous improvement and waste reduction. In summary, make-to-stock is a production strategy where goods are produced and stocked in anticipation of future demand. While it allows for immediate order fulfillment, it requires accurate demand forecasting and careful inventory management to prevent overproduction and stockouts. It can be effectively used in industries with predictable demand and products with long manufacturing lead times. Assembly to order, ATO, is a production strategy where products are assembled upon receipt of a customer's order. The key components used in the assembly or manufacturing process are planned and usually stocked in anticipation of a customer order. Receipt of an order initiates assembly of the customized product. This strategy is useful where a large number of end products, based on the selection of options and accessories, can be assembled from common components. A TO strategy reduces the need for maintaining a large inventory of finished products thus saving on inventory holding costs and improving cash flow. It also provides a way to offer customization of the final product to the customer's specific needs. However, it requires a well-organized production process to ensure that components are available when needed and that assembly can be completed in a timely manner. In the context of lean manufacturing, ATO aligns with the principles of reducing waste and increasing efficiency. It allows for the reduction of waste associated with overproduction and excess inventory, while increasing efficiency by enabling a smooth flow in the production process. However, it requires a high level of coordination among various functions such as sales, production, and supply chain management. In summary, assembly to order is a production strategy that can lead to cost savings, improved cash flow, and increased customer satisfaction by providing customized products However, it requires a well-coordinated and efficient production process to be successful. Make to Order, MTO, is a production strategy in which manufacturing starts only after a customer's order is received. This approach contrasts with traditional Make to Stock, MTS, strategies, where production is based on demand forecasts. In MTO, each product is tailored to specific customer requirements, which allows for a high degree of customization but may also lead to longer lead times. This is because the production process only begins when the order is placed, and the product may require unique components or configurations. The MTO strategy can be beneficial in situations where products have a high degree of customization or are very expensive to produce, making it impractical to maintain a large inventory. It can also be advantageous in industries where products quickly become obsolete. However, the MTO approach requires a robust and efficient production process to ensure that products can be manufactured and delivered in a timely manner. It also requires effective communication with customers to accurately capture their requirements. In the context of lean manufacturing, MTO aligns with the principles of reducing waste and increasing efficiency. It allows for the reduction of waste associated with overproduction and excess inventory while increasing efficiency by enabling a smooth flow in the production process. In summary, 
Make to order is a production strategy that can lead to cost savings, improved cash flow, and increased customer satisfaction by providing customized products. However, it requires a well-coordinated and efficient production process to be successful. Engineering to Order, ETO, is a production approach where the product design is engineered and finalized based on specific customer requirements. This approach is typically used for products that are unique, complex, and not mass-produced, such as specialized machinery, large-scale industrial equipment, or complex construction projects. In the ETO process, the product does not exist until the customer places an order. Once the order is received, the design process begins, taking into account the customer's specifications and requirements. This could involve modifying an existing design or creating a completely new design from scratch. The ETO approach requires close collaboration between the customer and the manufacturer throughout the design and production process. This ensures that the final product meets the customer's needs and expectations. It also allows for flexibility and customization, as changes can be made during the design process based on customer feedback. However, the ETO approach also presents several challenges. It often involves longer lead times, as the design process can be time-consuming. It also requires a high level of engineering expertise and resources. Additionally, it can be difficult to accurately estimate costs and timelines due to the unique nature of each product. Despite these challenges, the ETO approach can provide significant value for customers who require highly specialized products. It allows for a high degree of customization and can result in a product that is perfectly tailored to the customer's needs. For manufacturers, it can offer a competitive advantage by enabling them to meet unique customer needs that cannot be addressed through standard products. Make to Forecast, MTF, is a production strategy where manufacturing is based on predicted customer demand rather than actual orders. This forecast is typically derived from historical sales data, market research, and trend analysis. The goal of MTF is to have products ready for delivery as soon as a customer places an order, thereby reducing lead times and improving customer satisfaction. In an MTF system, production planning and inventory management are crucial. Companies must accurately forecast demand to determine how much of each product to produce. This requires sophisticated forecasting tools and a deep understanding of market trends and customer behavior. However, MTF also carries risks. If the forecast is inaccurate, companies can end up with excess inventory if they overestimate demand or stockouts if they underestimate demand. Both scenarios can be costly. Excess inventory ties up capital and increases storage costs, while stockouts can lead to lost sales and damage to customer relationships. MTF is most suitable for industries where demand is relatively stable and predictable and where the cost of holding inventory is low compared to the cost of a stockout. It is less suitable for industries with highly variable demand or fast-changing trends. As an industrial engineer, it's important to understand the trade-offs involved in MTF. While this strategy can improve responsiveness to customer orders, it requires accurate forecasting and careful inventory management to be effective. It's also important to consider alternative strategies, such as just-in-time or just-in-sequence, which aim to reduce inventory levels by aligning production more closely with actual demand. This video is included in my Lean Video Toolbox database. You can download it for free. The link is in the description.